Hey, welcome to this morning's morning sprint, getting our day started off with purpose, passion, production, and meaning. So if you're not willing to risk the unusual, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. And I like that because like, what is the unusual? Well, the unusual could be social esteem. Like, you know, we all want our likes. We all don't want to put ourselves out there. Oh, what if I get rejection? Rejection is the number one fear of entrepreneurship. You know, that's what we all are afraid of. Well, that could be the unusual. You know, nobody, it's ordinary. We all don't like rejection. So that's what we need to sacrifice is maybe a little bit of rejection or a temporary hit in social esteem. So let's go over three things that we can really kind of dissect in and, and, and pick this thing apart. So number one, ordinary impact on your family and kids. Is that, is that what you want to have? Is that what we want to have as entrepreneurs? Do we want to say, you know what, I'm not willing to risk the unusual, but I'm cool having an ordinary impact on my family. No, I think we would all agree. We want the best for what our children. A lot of parents say, hey, I want my kids to grow up better than how I grew up. And that's why they make a lot of sacrifices. That's why they sacrifice the unusual. Number two, ordinary income. Do we want to have an ordinary income? Because when we have an ordinary income, we have an ordinary contribution, you know, or do we want to have a big contribution? Okay, whether it's that out of our time, our energy, or our finances, okay? Ordinary income means ordinary time freedom. Ordinary income means ordinary contribution to others. So do we really want that to be ordinary? I, I left a business development group because people in there would be like, you know, I just want to make enough to get by. And these were like Christian people. I'm like, are you guys not called to give, to contribute, to bring up this world? We're not called to just make enough to get by. Yeah, so no, we want better than an ordinary income and that makes it worthwhile to, to take on the unusual. And how about ordinary growth? I always joke that, you know, we're addicted to growth, you know, and we all know growth and contributions are the true pathways to joy. So do we just want to grow, like if say, say our capacity is 100, do we just want to grow to 30% because it's comfortable, it's ordinary, it's okay, 50%, or do we want to grow to our full capacity. So if you're not willing to risk the unusual, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. So ordinary impact, ordinary income and ordinary contribution and ordinary growth. If you're listening to this, you're anything but ordinary because you have extraordinary blood running through your veins. You have the ability to get things done. You have an infinite capacity for growth. So let's put that to work for us, for our businesses, for the world we live in and live an extraordinarily great life.